30% of TikTok's 1.5 billion monthly active users have used TikTok shop. That is more than 450 million people potentially looking for your product. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how you can start selling on TikTok shop and open a seller center account, and also give you some of my top tips from my last 12 months of selling on the TikTok platform. By the end of this video, you'll have a fully completed and set up TikTok shop account. So you'll be ready to post videos with your product link embedded into the video like you see on screen right now. And of course, if you're interested in learning more about the world of e-commerce, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is head over to seller.tiktok.com. Now, obviously we need to select our region here and I'm from the UK, so I'm going to go onto Europe Seller and then go onto United Kingdom. And then this is obviously gonna bring up this screen. Now we need to go up to the top here and sign up. And now what I would strongly recommend at this point is just to start again with a new account, a new email address, nothing that is linked to an existing TikTok account, just start afresh. And if you've already got an account that you'd like to use with your TikTok shop, then you can always add that as a marketing account later. So now I am gonna sign up with Google. And then we can see here, obviously we're just gonna go through the usual steps with Google. Okay, and now we are into TikTok shop. So at this point, we need to decide how we are going to be setting up on the platform. Now for most of you, you may be setting up as an individual. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be going with individual on this. So we're gonna go into sole proprietor. And just as a quick side note, guys, I believe that in the UK, you can do your first thousand pounds as like your side hustle allowance in revenue, that is not profit, your first thousand pounds in revenue before you need to worry about setting up as a sole trader or a limited company or anything else like that. But of course, make sure you speak to a tax advisor. And now obviously we need to verify our identity. So in the UK, we can use passport, driving licenses, and I believe that's probably the same for the US as well. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the driving license, because I've got that on hand, it's much easier to do. So I'm gonna click verify, we'll start this. I'm gonna give it a go on the webcam. I don't know if this is gonna work. And then obviously down here we can just press complete and that actually worked pretty well. So now you need to submit a photo of yourself holding your ID. I don't believe I had to do this when I originally signed up for TikTok shop, but I guess this is probably just a new thing. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. And there we go. So now obviously we need to fill in our legal name, driving license number, date of birth. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in that information. And there we go, so we have done that. So now we need to set up a shop name. Now I'm just gonna call mine uh, Ben's Business, because I believe that's the name of this channel. And then obviously we need to add in a phone number. And then obviously we can see we've got this pop-up here. Obviously I've blanked out the information, but this is basically just saying, this is my business owner's information and the shop information here, so we'll submit that. So now it's gonna register a business. It says it takes up to 48 hours, but as far as I'm aware, it usually will be done in less than 24 hours. And now obviously you can see that we've got three steps to start going. So we wanna set up our shipping and return warehouses, add your products and connect your shop to a TikTok account. So we set up our shipping. Now guys, it doesn't matter. Obviously it says like a warehouse address, you just put your home address. When I started my first TikTok shop, it was literally about a year ago, I just used my home address to start with. So we are gonna go through and start filling this in now. And then you can see obviously we've got TikTok shipping options popping up here and we've got every. So I'm just gonna go on to add products. I found that every is pretty straightforward, although I have very recently been invited to start using Royal Mail for my TikTok shipping. Now guys, we obviously can see here that we've got some product information pages that we need to start going through. But to be honest, it's very self-explanatory and it's quite straightforward, but if you do need any help, then just let me know. Now I'm gonna show you very quickly some really useful areas of the TikTok shop seller center. So let's go through them right now. So first off, obviously over on the left, we have orders and this is really, really simple. You can do different filters, you can search for orders and it will tell you all of the information you need about orders and then this is where you'd come to print your orders from when you're ready to do your shipping. Of course, you've got the products tab as well. Again, very self-explanatory. You can just add a new product and you can also check out some of these other bits here. And then marketing is another really, really important one. Under the marketing, obviously I've got to activate my shop. So this just means I need to pass the verification. Uh, to be able to do shop ads, but we don't need to worry about shop ads right at the start. The most important one you guys wanna be worrying about at the start is the campaigns. Now this is where you can sign up for TikTok discounts. So say for example, 
on this weekend sale here, we are obviously ineligible because our shop hasn't been verified yet. But TikTok might say offer free shipping to all customers on this 26th of July weekend sale. And that will basically mean that TikTok funds the free shipping so you as the seller get all of your money. You don't have to worry about losing any money for the free shipping, TikTok will pay for that themselves. So that's really important that you sign up for every and all campaigns that you possibly can. And then the ones that you can do as a seller is product discounts, flash deals, gift with purchases, all of these great stuffs. And again, this is a really great way to boost sales on TikTok. You wanna be thinking about times like payday sales, creating flash deals, live giveaways, and all of that stuff as well. And if you're interested in learning any more about how to utilize the promotions on TikTok, then just leave a comment and I will make a video on that. Another really important place is the TikTok Affiliate Center. Now, obviously, Again, we are not re fully registered and approved yet, so we can't access this, but the affiliate center is really important. And I will come back to this in a second. I'm just gonna finish showing you on here and then I'll show you on my accounts that are approved on how you can use the affiliate center. So next we have live and video. This is probably the one, one of the ones that I use the least. You can just find content ideas for making ads. You can create shoppable videos through this. I don't use this too much. Personally, I do it all through the actual TikTok app rather than Seller Center. And of course, you've also got the Growth Center, so you get missions and rewards on here to help you improve your shop, especially at the start. It is worth going through some of these things because it can also help you learn how to use the TikTok Seller Center app. Now, of course, we've got our analytics, so you can see your page views, your GMV, and all of the other data you might want to see about your shop. And one of the most important ones on here is your marketing. And if you go on creator analysis on this section here, we'll show you what affiliates are making you the most money. And then you can then reach out and build relationships with those affiliates who are bringing in lots of money for your brand. Of course, we've got the TikTok shop account health. Guys, keep an eye on this. Your shop performance score is really important. Try and keep it at least at 4.5. One of the best ways to make sure you keep your TikTok shop account health really high is by keeping your dispatch time less than 48 hours. Now, there's been times for me where I've even been dispatching orders on a Sunday to make sure I hit that 48 hour mark if I've been unable to send them out on a Saturday. And of course, finally, we've got the finance tab where you can see all of the information about the money going in and out of your TikTok shop. So as promised, guys, here is the TikTok shop affiliate page. Now, the most important thing on this page is the sample requests. Now, this is where creators can sign up to get free samples from your shop. So on this page, we can see, look, I've got a few more since I approved or denied my samples yesterday of people who want to request samples. Now, the most important ones here are these two. You've got the fulfillment and the sales volume. So the fulfillment is basically a percentage of how many times the affiliates actually make the videos for the products. So as you can see, all of these guys here are 100%. So that means every time they've received a free product from a shop such as myself, then they have made that video and posted that video. But then we can see on the right hand side, the sales volume. So now how I work this is I check the fulfillment, as long as it's above 90%, then they are eligible for me. And then I'll check their sales volume. If they've got a decent sales volume, now this will vary from product to product, then I may approve it. So for some of my more expensive products, I will not give samples out unless they've made quite a considerable amount of sales. But for some of my cheaper products, I may be happy to send even this person down at the bottom here who's only generated $3.99 in sales, I may be happy to send them a free sample because some of the products cost me less than 50p to send out. And then to approve or reject these, all you need to do is you select them up here, click approve or reject and it is as simple as that it will then automatically go into your shipping queue and you can make the labels as per normal okay guys so that is the quick run through of tiktok seller center now as i promised i've got some final little tips for you on how to grow your tiktok shop effectively so the first one is around affiliates so make sure you use affiliates affiliates are fantastic and assuming your products aren't too expensive for you to send out, I would 100% recommend sending out free samples because TikTok is very much a snowball effect. The more affiliate free samples you send out, the more videos get made, the more affiliates request, the more video gets made and it turns into a real snowball effect. And over time, you can really start having hundreds and hundreds of videos about your products being sent out there. Now, the next one is use virtual assistants to find yourself some affiliates. Now you can use somewhere like Fiverr again and you sign up you get a virtual assistant and you give them some criteria of what you're looking for in an affiliate whether it be a certain amount of followers 
a certain GMV in the past 30 days or anything like that. And you can then hire someone to message creators for you being like, hi, I really like your TikTok page. I would love you to promote our product, blah de blah Now the next tip I'm gonna give you guys, I think I mentioned it earlier in the video, is that you don't wanna be running ads straight away. Make sure you're testing your creative to see what works for your products. And then once you know what sort of style of video works and gets organic views, then you can start trying to run those as ads. Of course, if you have a big budget and you do lots of sales outside TikTok, then maybe you wanna start off with ads straight away. And this brings us into the final tip of the video and the most important one, and that is the four branches of TikTok. And the four branches of TikTok is your own branded content. So again, we'll use Sony as the example. If Sony is selling on TikTok shop, then their official Sony page on TikTok is making videos about their cameras to sell them directly to consumers. The next one is affiliates. And affiliates is obviously having external people outside of your company promoting your products for a commission. Number three, is ads and this is as simple as it is make good videos run them as ads and have them targeted to the correct people on TikTok. And finally, you've got lives. Now, lives are a fantastic way of selling products on TikTok because customers can directly interact in real time with the creator to ask questions, maybe even get some freebies on the live as well. And lives are a really good way of boosting your revenue. Now, if you wanna learn more about the four branches of TikTok, then make sure you subscribe to the channel because I will be making a video about that very soon, or you might see it pop up just up the top here. Thanks for watching, guys.